Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today we're going to be showing you how to curve text around an object using Inkscape. Okay, to curve this text, let's go ahead and first set up our document. We're going to go ahead and go to Document Properties, get rid of that page border, and then we can go ahead and start. Okay. So what we want to do is we actually want to create a little a little stamp type logo. Okay. Um, first thing that we need to do though is we're going to make a circle. I'm going to go ahead and make that red. Bring that opacity down about in half. We're actually going to hit Control D to duplicate that. Go to our selection tool and holding Control and Shift at the same time. We're actually going to move this down to up there. So if we hold Control and zoom in on the wheel, you can see that there is a little bit of a gap there. Let's go ahead and make that just a little bit bigger, or this inner circle a little smaller. All right, so let's go ahead and highlight both of those circles. We're going to go to Path and Difference, and that way we just cut the center of that circle out because we need a, an outline to, to begin with. Um, and we're going to go ahead and duplicate that inner circle, bring that down to about, go to about there, and then um, we're actually going to make another circle over here and we're just we're just creating rings on the inside of this for right now um, so super simple um, go ahead and select that circle that we just made hold shift and select the outer circle and then we're gonna go over to the align and distribute menu gonna go ahead and vertically and horizontally align it that way it's perfectly centered and let's go ahead and deselect everything and then just select our solid circle hold control shift we're going to move that up so we've just got a little bit of a sliver sliver of a, a white showing through all the way around there. Okay, so go ahead, control D, duplicate that. We're going to then move that in ever so slightly, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hold shift and then select that first one that we did and then go back to path and difference. And then we're going to go ahead and control D on that and duplicate it and bring it down and bring it right into the center of that smaller inner circle. So now that we've got four, um, four circles all within each other, um, let's go ahead and put in a square. So let's just grab this square and it's already got the rounded corners on it. With the square tool, we're actually going to keep these rounded corners um, because it's going to give us a nice little little stamp graphic at the end. So let's go ahead and just select everything here, go back to our align and distribute, and then align everything vertically and horizontally. That way it gives it everything right in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight our um, rounded corner square, and or rounded corner rectangle rather. And then holding control and shift, we're gonna make this just a little bit bigger. And actually we're gonna go ahead and move that width down just a little weird. We need to go ahead and add in our text. So we're going to go over to the text tool and we're going to type and make sure that these are capitalized just to give it kind of some consistency. We're actually going to be using three words. Misfit Studios approved. We're just going to make this cool little stamp here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually need to take, we're going to do the Misfit part of the Misfit Studios first. We're going to come up to our text panel our text and fonts. Make sure that your text that you want to change is highlighted and we're actually going to go to the Acme font. Go ahead and hit apply. Let's go ahead and just do that with the other two words as well. You can go ahead and exit out of that. Now we want to actually make this a little larger. So again, holding control and shift. Every time that you size something, just hit control shift and it will size it and keep its position relative to its center and it won't change the height, the ratio to height and width, so you're not going to stretch it. Um, if you don't hold any keys and just grab this arrow, you can see it, you know, stretches out of, kind of gets distorted. So just the, just a little, a little tip on um, sizing things to scale. Okay, so let's go ahead and curve this misfit around this inner circle. So first we actually are going to go ahead and highlight this, highlight the text, and then we're going to highlight while holding shift that basically the outer inner circle, the larger of the two circles, okay? Um, and let's go ahead and make sure both of those are highlighted, go up to text, and then put on path. What that's gonna do is it's going to put that text 
inside that circle that we highlighted. We actually want it to be on the outside circle. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that larger circle and the text is highlighted and we're just gonna click flip vertically. Um, you can flip horizontally too if, if you want. It does the exact same thing. Um, so anyways, we've got that flip to the outside. We're actually gonna deselect everything. We're gonna just select that um, larger of the two circles. Click that twice so we can get our um, rotation arrows. And as you can see, that rotation is on the inside of that circle. If we had the text and the circle highlighted and we go to click it again to rotate, you can see that X or the little cross where that axis of rotation is gonna occur is gonna happen in the cent is off center. So if we rotate this, you can see everything gets distorted and moves out of the way. So we're gonna go ahead and deselect our text and just select the outside um, the wider of the two circles. We're then gonna go ahead and rotate this word around, and then we can actually hold control and move that up, just like that. Now, little tip on getting things aligned in your graphics. You can do this with text, you can do this with any other shape. These grids here out on the left side and the top of your um, viewer, if you hover your mouse over it, click and then hold and drag, you can drag this little horizontal line down and it will be, you know, perfectly 90 degrees. You can actually do the same thing over on the left side and you can do it as many times as you want. And it's just reference lines. Um, Inkscape won't see these as a vector or a line that you've drawn. It is literally just for lining things up. You get rid of those, you just hover your mouse over them until a selection icon appears. It's kind of tricky sometimes. And then you just click the delete key to get rid of them. All right, we've got our misfit in on the stamp. Let's go ahead and grab the studios portion. And we're gonna do the exact same thing only on the outer circle. We did it on the inner circle. The one that we just did, it's gonna actually be um, mirrored. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure our studios is highlighted, hold shift once again, click the outer circle, go to text and put on path. As you can see, it's already on the inside of the circle. We're gonna go ahead and deselect everything reselect our um, outer circle, and then we're gonna go ahead and rotate that. Of course, I decided to run away. We're gonna go ahead and rotate that around until it is down at the bottom, and then we can de deselect that. Go ahead and hit Control, drag that up. And as you can see, the studio's lettering on the inside of a, um, of the circle is kind of scrunched together. So let's go ahead and highlight. We can actually um, double click getting back into the text tool or you can go ahead and just highlight that and then click the text tool and it'll get back into that same tool. Up here at the top, you can actually change the spacing of the letter or the letters within or numbers depending on what you've got typed in. We're gonna go ahead and just hold this until it scales up to roughly match the spacing on the Misfit. There we go, back to our selection tool. And then we can, remember, select the outer circle, the one that you've got the, it paired to, and then we can go ahead and rotate that back around. We can actually just drag this line down right here. That way it gives us kind of a reference line on how far away or how far left or right we need to move that word. Okay, so now that we've got all of our text spaced, um, we've got everything set up. It does look like I've got the misfit part of it, a little bit bigger font than the studios, but that's okay. We can go ahead and change that. It's not a huge deal. Okay, so to make this all one um, object or one image, we need to go in and tell Inkscape that these are no longer texts. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure our text is highlighted. We're gonna go up to path and object to path. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing to the studios, object to path. And what that's doing is it is then um, telling Inkscape that these this is no longer text. So if you go over here and edit paths by nodes tool, you can tell you can see that there is actually nodes here that you can that you can manipulate just like any other vector shape that you draw in Inkscape. Um, and these are if if you want to change a specific letter, you can just go up here and ungroup, and it will ungroup those, and you can change those um, independently from one another. Let's go ahead and reselect all of those and then regroup and the exact same thing with um, the studios portion okay so now that we've got that all done um, we can actually change the position and everything of these circles and not affect the text so if you actually grab this circle and move them 
the text stays there. All right, so let's go ahead and highlight our center square. We're gonna go ahead and highlight everything else except for the text. That little one, there we go. And then go up to path and then union. And that is gonna actually complete everything that we've, we don't have lines running through that square. We can actually go into fill and stroke and bring the um, opacity all the way up to 100%. Now, all that's left to do is um, go ahead and bring in our approved text. We're actually going to control shift and scale that up a little bit. Bring that in about there. Going to highlight everything, hold shift and deselect our misfit and our studios text because if we um, align and distribute those horizontally and vertically, it's gonna slow throw those words in the center. So let's go ahead and um, realign those. And there you have it. Super simple. Um, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always. And if you guys like what we're doing over here at Misfit Studios, please subscribe. Um, leave a comment down below if you want to see anything else in Inkscape. And we will see you guys next time.